a full, honest, truthful review of HelloFresh. Wow. That is delightful. Final product. Oh my gosh, how cute. So this is what it makes for apparently two servings. And then we have the green beans, cilantro, and lime. What is up guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton, if you guys are new here. And we are going to be doing a full, honest, truthful review of HelloFresh and their meals, their delivery, their everything, how they taste, if I think they're healthy, if I think it's worth it. I'm gonna give you guys all the info. So basically my friend Haley, if you are watching this, gave me like a promo code to get my first box free and I've always wanted to try HelloFresh because I mean, first of all, I hear so many people talking about it and second of all, with how busy I am with work and college and everything in between, I just think the idea of it is so nice to have things prepped for you and just step-by-step -step instructions of like how to get things done. So I went ahead and placed an order. I mean, it was like $8 for shipping and it just arrived. So I will say, I love the time of arrival because it was set to come on Thursday and it's here before 10 o'clock a.m. So that's amazing. This is what it looks like. Super cute, I don't wanna show you guys like my um, house address. But I thought really quickly, as you guys can tell, I'm heading out the door soon, but I really wanted to unload it all and I thought we could do that together. So I, in my little box, have three meals. One of them I'll be making tonight, so I'll take you guys through that process. But let's go ahead and open it. First impressions, it comes all like packaged, so you can tell it's like pretty fresh and was kept nice and cold. Oh my gosh, how cute! So that is the sweet chili pork. This one is the pasta I think that I'm making tonight. Let's just keep opening, shall we? Okay, so cute. So this is the sweet chili pork. This is not what I'll be making tonight, but I did think I would take you guys through each day I make a meal and like just give you guys a review of like the overall meal. <gasps> How cute. This one is what I'm making tonight. It is, can you guys read that? So it is the Cavatappi beef ragu. Delightful. And this is the sizzling ginger shrimp with, shrimp with katsu sauce. I'm so sorry if I'm like butchering these words. And there's also more and I'm very confused on what's on the bottom. Oh! Okay, so there's an ice Thing, which is so nice. So this is the shrimp for that shrimp meal. Here's the ground pork, which I'm assuming is for tonight's meal, I think. The pasta. More, oh, ground beef. And this is super lovely because it just gives you, oh, you can recycle it? Oh, absolutely amazing, that's so nice. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is put all of these things in the fridge and then we're gonna have a lovely meal tonight and I'm so stinking excited. So I'm assuming like the stuff in these bags are like stuff that doesn't have to be kept super cold, but these things were like put on the ice. I was very interested in how they like kept it so fresh, so that makes a lot of sense. So let's put these in the fridge and then I'm gonna see you guys tonight for our pasta. It is now the evening. It is dinner time, seven o'clock, and I'm going to be cooking for my boyfriend, Stephen and I tonight. So, I'm really excited. Also, I forgot to mention, I found these later when I got home. So, in the box, they also came with all three of the meal cards, which is like what has your instructions on it. So this is what's up for tonight. Can we take a second? Oh goodness, I'm so excited. I thought it would be fun to unbox the little bag with you guys and see what else we need. So I'm assuming, yes, I need the ground beef. That's what this one was for. Let's get it all. Who's excited? Me. All right, so we got the ground beef and the little baggie. So it says that we need the carrot, parsley, pasta, the beef, marinara sauce, Italian seasoning, cream cheese, and Parmesan cheese. Cool. 
that's another thing. Um, my meals are for two people. Like they're supposed to just have two servings. Okay, we got the cute little carrot. The pasta. This is so fun, it's like a mini grocery haul. Oh, the marinara sauce. Cute. The parsley. See, this is so nice, because you know how like parsley comes, isn't that the one that comes in those like huge little bush things, and then like you're like, you don't need that much parsley? Alrighty. Cream cheese, and Italian seasoning. One tablespoon. I'm just, this is so nice. <laughs> okay, so I was reading the instructions earlier and this is what the instructions look like. I'll hold them up for a little bit so you guys can see. Also, before I get to the prep, I do want to mention something. So I am already noticing, I eat extremely, okay, no. I do not eat extremely healthy, but I do like to watch like, not necessarily even calories, but like macros. And I have already noticed, I was looking on the website. This is a little bit, it's way off in terms of the macros that are meant for my body. Um, so it tells you it's 890 calories per serving, which is a little bit high for me. But I'm like curious, this is why I wanted to film this video. I'm like curious as to whether this is really two servings or like for somebody like my size and like what I like to eat, would it maybe make three servings, if that makes sense. Obviously Steven's gonna have a bigger serving than me, but yeah, that's like, I'm just a little bit interested about that part. So anyways, I just wanted to touch on that. They do have meals that are like calorie light, which I think are like under 600 calories. I think I got one of those meals. So yeah, this just looked so good. I like was like, I'm in the mood for it. So, okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, first we're going to wash and dry all produce. And then I think I'm gonna start chopping the carrot. And then once Steven tells me he's on the way is when I'm gonna start like boiling the water and everything. Vegetables and I mean this is really all the vegetables all the vitamins we're getting for the meal is coming from these two things So those are all set that was super easy and then now we just have the pot of water hopefully boiling soon um, also Please do not mind my sweatpants with my turtleneck. I had jeans on earlier, but I decided to take them off. Um, but yeah, Steven's on his way now, so I'm gonna get everything cooking. Hopefully it'll start smelling really good. As I've read through the instructions, it literally seems so easy. So I am loving it so far. And I will show you guys once the water starts boiling this All right guys, it's coming together. We'll put a little more pepper in there. So this is what it makes for apparently two servings. Like, if this was just for me, I could of... give it three or four servings for sure. Mm -hmm. Time for the final steps. Parmesan and parsley. And guys, this looks really good. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. Can they tell which bowl is which? I actually don't think it's super obvious. Oh, oh they look so good! Mm. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. That is straight up yummy. It is day two, and we are making this and I'm very excited. So sweet chili pork and green bean bowls. Hello world. What were your thoughts on the pasta last night? Oh, it was so good. It was so good. And I'm a big pasta guy, so yeah. I ate a lot of it. But yeah, we ate the entire thing. <laughs> so I filmed this already and had a giant piece of pepper in my teeth. So uh, I already unloaded the bag, but I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients because it's fun. We have the ground pork. We have the jasmine rice. 
Oh, and one thing that is so nice, you know what I was thinking about this yesterday, is the fact that you don't have to measure things out. Like, you just throw this in there. Or like yesterday, like the tablespoon of Italian seasoning, you don't have to measure it out. Mm -hmm. That made, That's a big difference. Oh, it is. And like this stuff. Yeah. You just or toss it in. throw this in there, because this seems spicy. Yeah. We We're going to have some heat flowing through oh, our bodies. Oh, man, my nose is going to be running. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, so yeah, these sauces, this is the Thai-style chili sauce. I'm assuming that's like soy? Oh, yeah, sweet soy glaze. And then we have the green beans, cilantro, and lime, and I'm so excited. What are those? Little onions, like the oh, frizzled I onions. Oh, I love those. Let's get cooking. Let's get <laughs> For you. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying. Also, look, Stephen got me flowers. <laughs> Looking good. Very nice. Adding some smart balance butter. <laughs> oh wow, it smells so good. It is superb. Oh my god. I might like this more than yesterday's. Mm -hmm. I like the flavors better. Just got a little bit of the onion. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, guys. It is actually quite a few days later since last time I made a meal because I let that third wheel that, me that week accidentally go bad like because it was shrimp and I wasn't thinking ahead and left the shrimp in the fridge too long I should have froze them right away so that's my bad and the following week I actually didn't get a HelloFresh pack so I just got one this week so I'm showing you guys another meal from a new week and it's actually funny because the meal I wanted to show you guys today was like a shrimp fajita or like taco moment but they actually messed up. So in the pack, they gave me pork and wait, right Steven? It was pork they gave me? Yeah, they gave me pork tenderloin instead of shrimp. And I just think this is interesting because I'm obviously giving you guys a HelloFresh review. So I contacted them through their app. By the way, if you guys do HelloFresh, you should get their app because it's so easy. Um, and like chatted with someone and literally right away somebody answered and they gave me like a $17 credit, which is a good amount for like one error on their recipe. That's good to know, they have good customer service. But uh, it was kind of a bummer though because it's actually like almost okay because Steve and I are gonna try to make like pork tacos instead. But I didn't wanna do that tonight because like that could go very badly. So I have another pasta dish that we're gonna make and it is gnocchi with spinach and grape tomatoes. And I'm very excited. Honestly though, it doesn't have like much protein at all. So that's okay though. So I'm excited and it seems like really quick and easy. We're just gonna get to it. I'll open the little bag. So here's the gnocchi. This I kept in the freezer until I used it uh, or until I wanted to, to use it today. I have a ton of spinach. This is good because I don't eat vegetables. Tomatoes. Panko, garlic powder, chili flakes, and Parmesan. Veggie, what would this possibly be? Oh, veggie stock, concentrate. And then we have a shallot, I believe, and cream cheese, which I think is like the base of the sauce. Step one, we are going to bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil and wash and dry all produce. Veggies with the sauce, like maybe the sauce will make it taste good. Steven and I are concerned because I may have overcooked the pink or the gnocchi because it looks really funky. 
like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like all mushed together. It says cook for five minutes. Oh, well. Like, look, it's a little, mm. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Maybe the skillet would, will give it like a, um. Some life? Yeah. Like, it's really sticky. Honestly, I'm not feeling very promising about this one. I, first of all, it doesn't look very appetizing, but who knows? Parmesan always makes it cuter. Oops. So we got some Parmesan. Are you worried? No. Really? Yeah. And then we have chili flakes. Do you want some? I want some. Yeah, I'll take a, a little pinch. A little pincheroo. A little pincheroo. I'm so scared. You go first. It smells good. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's actually not that bad. Seriously. Let's get it with a tomato. Yeah. <clears throat> that pepper flake hit the back of my throat. It's so sticky. Mm -hmm. You don't have to eat it. Who said I didn't like it? I don't know. I can't tell by the <clears throat> vibes. It's kind of good when you mix it all together. Yeah, it's it's different. Mm -hmm. My first time having gnocchi. Yeah, gnocchi doesn't usually taste like this. <laughs> Consensus of that meal. Oof. What would you give it, Steven? Uh, what would you give it out of 10? Uh, be honest. Be honest? Yeah. Really, the only flavors I tasted uh, was the ch chili flakes. Okay. Um, the texture was probably a two. <laughs> um, so average maybe a three. Yeah, I would give it like a three or four out of ten. Nice. Steven didn't actually finish his. <laughs> um, I wouldn't even like, like I don't know if I did something wrong or if that's just like, our taste buds and we don't usually like the meat or we don't just like the meal but i always like food so i don't know what was up with that one my friend Haley, she might even be watching this w uh, made this meal tonight too and she liked it so i don't know very much so could just be us but it is clearly the end of the video and i wanted to do a little recap for those of you who made it to this point and want to hear like my final thoughts and opinions on HelloFresh. So I feel like I got a little bit of everything in this video. We had meals that were thebomb.com, a meal that was not so great as well as like a little mix up with my ingredients. So I feel like I experienced like the whole nine yards. But like I mentioned, they handled the mishap with the uh, wrong ingredient really well. So that's not even like a con in my head cause I'm sure it's a thing for ingredients to get mixed up. And also like we have to remember this was three meals out of like, it's like a small sample size if you know what I'm saying. Like statistically, like who knows, maybe this will be the only time ever that they mess up an ingredient and it just happened to be one of the first times like I ordered uh, their meal services. So just keep that in mind. And the incident with the Noki just not, hitting right i don't really know what happened i don't know if that was our fault or if that was just like a hello fresh thing and like i don't know but again like i feel like some people would have liked that meal it was just steven and i so out of the whole experience i definitely give hello fresh like a solid like eight and a half maybe nine out of ten it's so convenient if you are like me and just so busy like it's so nice to have them think of the meal for you prep almost all the ingredients all you usually have to do is just cut up the vegetables and yeah it's just like honestly really nice and um as you guys can tell i'm still going through with it so uh i got the second box this week which is where the noki came from i'm ordering another box and i currently have like all the weeks i'm planning on ordering them unless just things start going wrong um which i can like keep you guys updated with that through my like vlogs and stuff so yeah i'm honestly very impressed Stevens loved it. It's just like so fun too because like I said, you can try new recipes that like you would have never tried to begin with because like I said, I'm so busy. I don't have time to think of these creative and fun recipes. So it's really nice that they do that for you. And also in terms of like affordability, 
I 100% think it's affordable, especially for me. Like, I definitely have friends who don't spend a lot of money on groceries. They don't, like, eat meals religiously, but I am, like, I love food. I am, like, very scheduled with my dinners. So, like, even with before HelloFresh, I was spending probably about $70 a week on groceries. So, for me and, like, the lifestyle that I live, it's very much worth it. Like I said, I know people who would be like, you pay that much a week? because like they just aren't like that and they just eat like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, like little meals throughout the week, but I am a eater and I don't mind spending some money for good quality food. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else. The delivery service is also really nice. My box for the first week came right on time. My box for the second week came a day late, but we had a lot of snowstorms. So I was expecting that. I think that's it. If you guys have like any further questions that I didn't get to, Go ahead and comment down below. I feel like I touched on the tastiness, the delivery service, and like affordability. So I feel like I got everything, but of course you guys can ask further questions. I'm sure since I'm still ordering them, you guys will see these in my like normal vlogs. I just wanted to give like a full video on like my whole experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots of, I focus on like food and health and fitness and college and work and all of that. So if you guys are into that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video.